Hey guys, so I'm at the Property Buy Show here in Cape Town and I'm with Roxy from Block. Why don't you tell us a bit more about 8 on N? So 8 on N, which is 8 Norfolk Road, um, you'll see that all our developments kind of have that naming convention. We just take the number that it is and then put it with the first letter of the name of the road. So 8 on N is in Seapoint. It is our development that we launched um, in mid-February this year. It was born from a place of our clients coming into our showroom being past clients who have bought from us or people within network who have come to us because of someone who's bought coming in and telling us that this compact living trend that had been happening for pretty much the whole of 2017 was no longer for them. They wanted space, they wanted to live in apartments with their families, they didn't want to have to go into homes or freestanding houses and so they came in and we listened to them. We have gone back to building more spacious apartments with really sizable balconies um, that you can entertain on and ry on and be with your family. And so that's where 8 on N came from. And because of that, obviously, you are now looking in the higher end of the market again, but that's what the market wanted from us. And so 8 on N as a concept was then born from that. And because it runs all the way through two roads, so it sits between Norfolk and Wispish, our architects decided to play on duality and so the building has two different facades that look slightly different from each other but still tie in together and that whole duality concept was then unpacked inside as well in how you use spaces and multi-use of space which is obviously incredibly important in apartments and um, as well as into the marketing collateral which also speaks to a whole duality theme. It's on N coming at the time that it did, obviously also had to speak to the water crisis and what that means. And so in any block development, we're already energy efficient and do have water saving techniques in place, but we just had to step it up. So other than the normal energy efficient kind of lighting, um, the way that we use uh, one and a half glazing for our windows, not just single that keeps your apartments well insulated, you don't have to heat and cool as much. We then also turn to really what can we do for water. And for eight on N, it will be um, things like a borehole infiltration system, rainwater harvesting systems, and then as well as all the sand where in the apartments will be water intelligent, meaning that they will be pushing out less water than a typical tap, for example, would. And you do that by aerating things. Um, and then just other little bits and bobs, like for example, we use smeg appliances in all of our apartments. We'll be using the smeg appliances that are water efficient rather than the standard appliances. And that's kind of 8 on in a nutshell. Private property, a home for everyone.